I decided to go vegan about three years ago. It was after I had eaten two 4x4s from In-N-Out. If you don't know, that's two burgers that have four patties each. It was an excessive amount of meat and I did not feel very good after eating it. Later that evening, I came across the documentary, What the Health, on Netflix. And it really changed my perspective about eating. Before that day, I didn't have a very healthy diet. I ate an excess amount of meat, a lot of processed foods, and I wasn't really conscious about what I was putting into my body and what kind of effect that would have on me in the long run. After learning more about the correlation between diet and disease, I decided it would be best for my health if I cut out meat and dairy entirely and pursued a plant-based diet. My favorite part about being vegan is the way that it makes me feel. First of all, there is the ethical side, which I feel like I'm doing a good thing by not eating meat, by reducing my carbon footprint, and also saving the lives of animals. Furthermore, I like the way it makes my body feel. Whenever I have small aches and pains from weightlifting, or whenever I get a small injury, I feel like my body recovers a little bit faster than it used to. I know this because I used to play football and I would get a lot of aches and pains in my body and they would usually linger for quite some time. But by eating a diet that decreased my body's inflammation levels, I found that aches and pains typically alleviate a little bit quicker. My friends and family were pretty supportive about me deciding to go vegan. Hey Travis, do you want some of my nut cheese? Of course, dude. Of course I did receive a little bit of heckling from my friends. At first they thought I was joking, but once they realized I was serious, they were completely supportive about it. I even had a friend of mine who for a little while decided to go vegan to try it. And he enjoyed it for the most part and he learned a lot from that experience such as the importance of implementing more whole plant-based foods into his diet. He now eats an omnivorous diet, but he has learned a lot from the vegan experience. Other friends of mine and my family members have also decided that they will eat more plant-based foods. Most of them agreed with me that dairy wasn't the best thing to be eating, but for the most part, I couldn't convince everyone to stop eating meat. That's not what I'm trying to do. I want people to learn that the benefits of the plant-based diet come from incorporating all of the healthy plant foods into your diet. And a lot of people ask me why I do this. And it's never in a condescending way, but people are typically curious about why I choose to eat this way. Especially since I'm a weightlifter and I want to build muscle and people typically think you need a lot of meat to build muscle. I don't find it difficult to help people who are not vegan to eat a healthy diet. A lot of people might think that because I'm vegan, I have no experience or no knowledge of what it's like to eat an omnivorous diet, but that's not true. The majority of my life, I've eaten meat and I've been trying to build muscle eating meat for even more time than I have been trying to build muscle being vegan. In short, I'm able to help people who eat meat and people who don't want to eat meat improve their health through changing their diet. I see the future of veganism going in a very positive direction. I think that a lot of people are opening their eyes to the idea of veganism. People are learning that it comes with a lot of good health benefits, but I don't think we'll ever completely eliminate the consumption of meat. I think the future of veganism is very bright. I see a lot of people deciding to eat more plants in their diet. I see a lot more people trying to reduce their consumption of meat and dairy for their own health. There are a lot of things I wish I knew before I decided to switch to a plant-based diet. Switching to eating vegan has come with a lot of trial and error for me because I feel like I learned through my own experiences. There weren't a lot of people out there that I knew of at the time that were trying to do the same thing as me, build muscle and lift weights on a plant-based diet. When I first learned about veganism, 
I was under the impression that your body doesn't need all of this protein that we're told that we need. Which that is very true if you are a human who is just trying to survive and not build muscle. But for a vegan bodybuilder like myself, or other people who are weight training, who have the goal of trying to build muscle, don't let people convince you that your body doesn't need all of this protein. Your body still needs a lot of protein to build muscle. 